I'm Peter Sidwell and today's recipe is all about getting out and cooking on the barbecue. I've got an amazing recipe for you. It is barbecued Korean chicken with a sesame and peanut slaw served up in a lovely fluffy white bun. It is so delicious. I promise you, you will love it. So first thing we need to do is make our marinade. And this marinade is going to do two things. We're going to take half of it and put it on the chicken. The other half we're going to turn into a barbecue sauce. So chop up your ginger nice and fine, cut it one way and turn it the other way, chop it into matchsticks and then turn it the other way again and slice it and dice it into really fine little pieces. Place that into a mixing bowl and then add the chopped garlic as well. This is kind of like the backbone of a lot of Asian flavors is good garlic and ginger. Once you've got those two into the bowl, one red chili cut in half, de-seeded, sliced up into matchsticks and then chopped the other way into a fine dice. Add that to the bowl as well. Add in the juice of one lime followed by your dark soy sauce and then a couple of tablespoons of sesame seeds. So that is going to be our marinade. So take half of that and pour it over your chicken thighs. Now these chicken thighs have had the bone removed but the skin on. So what I've done is I've turned them over, skin side down in the bowl, and put the marinade on top. That way all the flavour starts to work into the chicken and not battling to get through the skin. Put that in the fridge for at least an hour covered and give it time to sort of marinate and bring all the flavours together. While the chicken then marinades, the remaining sauce that you've made, add a couple of tablespoons of ketchup and brown sauce. And what that does is it just kind of thickens it up and it turns it into a sauce from a marinade. While that's doing, we're going to make an amazing slaw to go with this. Something really fresh, crunchy, vibrant. First thing you need to do is slice up your red onion really fine. Take the time. I'm using my edge keeper knives because they are super sharp. And I'm going to make the slaw on my Maxwell Williams big serving platter because it's just a lovely way to serve this salad. Once your onions are all sliced, spread them out over your plate. Then, with your peeled carrots, top them and tail them. Cut the carrots into really thin slices and then pile them all back up together and then chop them again so you get really fine matchsticks. It's really important to finely slice everything as much as you can because it means that everything will kind of have an all-rounded flavour. If the onions are really big, they'll kind of, that's all you'll taste. The carrots, you know, they're too crunchy. So as finely shredded into matchsticks as you can possibly manage. Once all your carrots are chopped, add them to the onions and then squeeze a lime all over it. And what this does is it just starts to pickle them a little bit and make them really tangy. And that is the perfect contrast for our barbecue chicken. Then shred up your spring cabbage nice and finely, really shred it, add that to the salad as well. Sprinkle the coriander over your salad and then it needs two more things. Some sesame seeds scattering over the top and then some chopped salted peanuts as well. I'm just putting a couple of handfuls in there just to give it a really nice crunch. Mix it all together, get all those flavours really working together. Now that our slaw's done, our chicken's marinated, all you need to do is light the barbecue, start to cook the chicken, put it skin side down onto a hot grill. You want the coals to have that white heat, not black. Because if the coals are still black, soot will come off and it'll make all your food black as well. So be patient, light the barbecue, sit and wait for those white golden embers. Once the skin on the chicken is really golden and crisp and looking delicious, turn it over and then move the chicken thighs to the edge of the barbecue. That way you're managing the heat. And that's what you've got to be really careful about on barbecue is it's great for getting that wonderful red hot part of the barbecue and get the food on there, but it'll sear it too quickly. So use that heat and then push it to a cooler part of the barbecue and just let it slowly cook and absorb that smoky flavor. Now my barbecue's got a lid, so I'm gonna close it but keep the vents open so that I've got a nice airflow coming through. Once the chicken's cooked, take them off the barbecue and serve them with some lovely crusty bread rolls and our amazing crisp slaw and that beautiful sweet sticky barbecue sauce. Now if you want this recipe, go to kitchencraft.co.uk and you will find it there.